renewed push to figure out who this little girl is. Little Miss Nobody, as she was known, was found dead in 1960. A hiker found the body of a child in Congress, but in 60 years, nobody has been able to figure out who she is. Tonight, as Mark Thompson shows us, authorities are hoping new DNA technology can crack the case. Yeah, after years and years of digging, Yavapai County Sheriff's officials hope they can finally put a name to the remains of a young girl that were found more than 60 years ago. Sheriff's officials say that the body of a young girl between three and six years old was discovered in a sand wash back in July of 1960 off of Lake Alamo Road in Yavapai County. She was wearing shorts, her fingernails and toenails were painted, and she had on adult-sized flip-flops that were cut to fit her small feet. Sheriff's officials didn't have anything else to go on but ruled the case a homicide. Several cold case investigators have taken a crack at solving the case over the years. DNA samples taken at least twice. One was no good but within the past few months Othram Lab in Texas was able to get a good sample but it will cost thousands to run proper tests. That's why the Sheriff's Department is looking to raise the remaining $4,000. What we want to do for like I said for 62 years is you know give this little girl a name. Uh, if nothing else, just be able to give her a, a last name and bury her with a, a proper headstone with her last name on it. And at last check, that lab had already raised some $3,000 thus far. Now, if you would like to donate, just go to dnasolves.com and search for Little Miss Nobody. Again, that's dnasolves.com. In the newsroom, Mark Thompson, ABC 15, Arizona.